Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ACB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame that is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a very nice bounce. I mean, when you consider where the price was at its lows, and then all of a sudden you look at where it closed right there, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the, the price has definitely made a very, very nice move. But that does lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area, and that area is down here at the $5 mark. Why is $5 important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genu genuine strength, with true power, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement has true power, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That'd be a total contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about five. Any sort of breaks below there or worse yet if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of that area of the chart that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this set of circumstances? Well, you'd have lows right there. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I am just defining and quantifying that phrase progress again as the $5 mark. In terms of levels of resistance, this just has to do with a level that I've talked about before and foundational rules and charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, which it happened today, they tend to act as resistance and surprise, surprise, the power of charts right there, that level is now acting as resistance. So right around 535-ish is gonna be that initial area of resistance. If the price can push up through there, the next level to watch after that would be that purple line, the 50 period simple moving average. All in all though, any way you look at it, very nice bounce today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.